Upstreet Online, I'm Jeff, and I'm so glad you're here. Today is a very important day, because we're talking about faith. You ever wondered what we actually believe about Jesus? Well, today's the day we find out. Okay, so picture this. You're on the baseball field and you're consistently striking out. Like every time you're up to bat, it's strike one, strike two, strike three, you're out. It stinks, you're frustrated and you wanna improve. And if you want to learn how to literally knock it out of the park, who would you go to? Would you go to your art teacher at school to perfect your swing? Nah, you'd go to your baseball coach. If you had a question about baseball, your baseball coach is the best person to ask. Okay, well, what if you wanted to learn how to draw your favorite cartoon character? Would you go to your baseball coach for that? No way! You'd ask your art teacher at school. When you wanna know how to do something, you go to the expert, the person who knows most about that thing. And today, I wanna to tell you about a guy in the Bible who had some questions about faith. His name was Nicodemus, and he had been hearing people talk about all these amazing things that Jesus was doing and teaching, but Nicodemus didn't understand what it all meant. He had questions. So he went right to the source, to Jesus himself, and he said, Jesus, can you help me understand all the things you're talking about? And Jesus gave the most amazing answer. Check this out. Jesus said, for God so loved the world that he gave his one and only son that whoever believes in him shall not perish, but have eternal life. You may have heard those words from Jesus before. What's cool is that that verse, that one sentence from the Bible tells us what Jesus was all about. Now, you may be thinking, I feel like Nicodemus. I don't totally get that verse, and I have a few questions. Well, what's cool is this verse includes four really important things. So let's start with the first one. See if you can unscramble the letters to find the first answer. Are you getting it? You know what it is? It's loved. For God so loved the world. You see that heart? Yeah, everything starts with how much God loves us. So the first thing we know is that God loved. In fact, he loves everyone in the whole world. That's you, that's me, that was Nicodemus, that's the mean kids at school, your neighbors, your best friends. God loves everyone. And because God loves us, let's see what comes second. All right, see if you can guess it. Did you get it yet? You see it? It's gave, yeah, he gave his one and only son. God gave us his son, Jesus. Jesus is amazing. He taught us how to love people and, and treat people the way that God wants us to treat them. Jesus is perfect. Now, I don't know about you, but I've never been perfect. I've been unkind sometimes. I haven't always told the truth. I used to be mean to my little brother. I've messed up. In fact, we've all messed up before, right? Well, that's called sin. And sin breaks our relationship with God. But because God loves us so much, he gave us Jesus. And Jesus, who was perfect, died on a cross. And he took the punishment for our sins, our mess ups. God loves us so much that he gave us Jesus. And Jesus died for every single one of us. How amazing is that? And then three days later, after Jesus died, he came back to life. Like, I'm not kidding. Take that in for a second. Jesus died and then he came back to life. Like Jesus showed everyone he was God's son and he proved that he was more powerful than anyone or anything. So now we know God loved and God gave, but what's next? Do we need to do anything? Well, let's go back and see what Jesus told Nicodemus. For God so loved the world that he gave his one and only son, 
that whoever believes in him shall not perish, but have eternal life. So what do you think our next word is? See if you can unscramble it. What are we supposed to do? You have it? What's the word? Believe. Yeah, we believe. Jesus wants us to believe that he died for us and that he came back to life. Now you might say, I know that, you just told me. But believing is more than just knowing. Believing is an action. It, it means that you trust it. So think about it this way. You trust in stuff every day. Like, what about a chair? I can look at this chair and know it'll hold me up, but what if I wanna show you that I trust the chair will hold me up? What do I need to do? All right, all right, you're probably screaming, sit in it. And you're right, I need to sit in it. I have to do something to show you that I believe or trust this chair will hold me up. And there's something that we can do to show God that we believe or trust in Jesus. It's so simple. In fact, lean in, let me whisper it to you. Ready? All you have to do to show God you believe in Jesus is to tell him. That's it. You just pray and you talk to God and you tell him and you say something like, God, I believe you love me and, and that you gave Jesus to die on the cross and to come back to life to take care of my mess ups. Thank you. And that's it. That, that's how we tell God that we believe. Okay, so there's one last part of this verse. I'll give you a big hint. This word rhymes with believe. All right, what word do you think it is? What word do you see? Any guesses? It's long. Receive, that's right. When we put our trust in Jesus, we get something kind of like a gift. We receive something unbelievably amazing. Uh, let's read the whole verse to find out what we receive. For God so loved the world that he gave his one and only son that whoever believes in him shall not perish but have eternal life. When you believe in Jesus, you can have a relationship with God forever. Forever, that's the eternal life part. That's what we receive. That's the gift. Eternal life is a relationship with God that starts now and lasts forever in heaven. And heaven, well, it's like the biggest, most awesomest, super unbelievable party ever. And this party will never end. When you believe in Jesus, you can have a relationship with God forever. All right, remember, God loved the world so much that God gave us Jesus to fix our mess ups. And when we believe in Jesus, we receive a relationship with God forever. Let's talk to God and thank him for giving us Jesus. God, thank you so much for loving the whole world as much as you do. And because of that love, you gave us Jesus to take the punishment for all the things that we do that are wrong. Help us to understand that more so that we can believe in Jesus and in what he did so that we can receive this gift of a relationship with you forever. We love you, God. Amen. Truth from God, because he loves you. Now faith is confident in what we hope for and assurance about what we do not see. Hebrews 11. Learn it, lock it, live it. I will not be afraid, I will not be afraid Even when the dark surrounds me and when things get rough I will look to the Lord, I will look to the Lord Cause there's a promise He has made It's not a promise He will break